Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can set up Google Meet appointment slots using Google Calendar. So let's start by creating a block of time that we want to make ourselves available to students. So let's say between the hours of 3 and 5, we want to make ourselves available to students who might need to conference for either extra help or just want to talk about some of their work. We'll call this Meet Appointments. And then we'll go to Appointment Slots. And you can decide how long you want your appointments to be. So let's make ours 15 minutes. You can then go into more options and you can decide if you want this to repeat. So if you want this to be every day between three and five, you can select uh, daily. If you just want it to be once a week, you can select what week. And just like a regular appointment slot, you can make these reoccurring. Now you can share this in a couple different ways. You can either add guests on the right side here. Or if, say, you want to send this out to all of your students, you can post it in a Google Classroom or you can email it. And to do that, all you have to do is either right-click where it says this calendar's appointment page. You can right-click and copy link address. Or you can click on it and it will open up a new tab. And you can just right-click and copy the URL. Down below, you can write in any kind of description or any notes you want for the students to see. You can add in any links. And let's save that. Now, let me show you what this looks like from the student's side. So I just logged in under a test student account, and I pasted in the URL, and this is the screen that came up. So you see that there's all these different meet appointments. So here's my meet appointment slot from 3 to 3.15. Here's the one from 3.15 to 3.30 and so on. So let's say that I want to select this time from 3.15 to 3.30. Um, you can add in any information or you can just click save. And now that appointment slot is gone. So you'll notice that it's no longer there. So if any other student were to use that link, it would not be there for them as well. So from here, you can set up a meet in two different ways. The first way is to manually edit the event. And then you can go over to the side where it says add Google Meet video conferencing. And if you select that, it will create a meet automatically for you. And so you'll see there's a link down here below. So now that I've added the Google Meet, I can select save. So I can now send an email to the student letting them know that there's been a change and there's a Google Meet that's been added. So let's go back to my student view. And you'll see now when I log in with my student view, they have the Google Meet link right in the appointment. But you can set it up on your admin side so that anytime a calendar appointment is made, a Google Meet link will automatically be added to the event. Let me show you how to do that. Now to do this, you will need access to the admin controls. So that might be you or somebody in your tech department. If you go into apps and then G Suite, you can go to calendar and then settings. And then when you scroll down, there's an option that says video calls. And one of the options is to automatically add video calls to events created by a user. Now, I don't have this turned on in my district, but to turn that on, all you have to do is select the little pencil, check the box, and hit save. And that will make it so that anytime someone creates an event on Google Calendar, once there are two or more people, it will automatically create a link to Google Meet. But I do want to emphasize that even if you're in a district where they don't have that option turned on, it really is as simple as clicking on the appointment slot, selecting the pencil, clicking add Google Meet video conferencing, clicking on the Google Meet. You'll see that the link pops up, select save, send your student an email letting them know that a Google Meet link has been added. Then you'll have your Google Meet appointment scheduled. So whether you're using this with students or colleagues, creating appointment slots can be a great way to save time and stay organized. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can leave a comment in the comment section below. Reach out to me on Twitter at Dan Spada 
or find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the edtech show. I've also shared the links to several other Google Meet videos in the description below. So things like how to use Google Meet and Jamboard together, how to add fun backgrounds and lenses to Google Meet, how to share video and audio together in Google Meet, and much more. Uh, so please feel free to go through those and please share them with teachers that you think might find them helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.